photo piece had a recent improvement to its remove background function and i'm going to put it to the test with this image now if we just zoom in a little bit and have a look at what we're dealing with here before i actually run the process we can see what we're asking it to do so we've got a little kitten here with some nice fluffy fur which is always a good subject to test these kind of things because of the soft edges that are required and as you can see here about halfway down it actually goes out of focus as well and the fur almost blends into the background so it kind of goes a bit mushy which is a bit of a nightmare scenario for um, any kind of cutout let alone a one button solution and then it comes back around to the foot which gets lost a bit in shadow which can be very tricky as well to um, get an accurate cutout from and then a harder edge of the cupcake and then back around to the soft fur so the front end of this tool hasn't changed as in how to access it hasn't changed it's just been improved behind the scenes so to make this tool work you just click on the layer that you want the background removing of you go to the select menu and just click remove background and wait a few seconds for the magic to happen now I'm going to show you a little trick in a minute as well. So if you hang around after the initial wow factor, which there it is. I mean, look at that result straight away. But I've got a little technique to show you in a minute to fix any edges that it hasn't quite got right. Um, and there is one in this image. It's not as obvious, but I'll show you in a sec. It's a super quick fix and it's actually really, really valuable. So just hang on for a couple of minutes and I'll, and I'll throw that in towards the end of the video. So let's just look at this cutout for a second. I mean, that took, what, two seconds or something like that? And with the YouTube video compression, it's probably robbing some of the detail from this. But as I'm looking around, even without a background color applied yet, you can just see how soft this cutout is. And actually one other tip is because this creates a layer mask to remove the background, which is really good by the way, because it's like a non-destructive workflow. It's not deleting pixels, it's giving you a layer mask. It means if you hold the Alt key and click on the layer mask, you can see the quality of the cutout that is provided without even having to see the image. And this sort of tells you all you need to know, really. If you just look at how soft that edge is, any pixelation you see here, by the way, is due to the image being low res and not down to the quality of the cutout. I can promise you that. And if you go up here to the ear, I mean, look, look at all the detail this has captured. Uh, it's kind of easy to forget that we're talking about a free piece of software that we've just done this with one click. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So hold alt and click again to get back to your current view. And by the way, while we're talking about little quick tips, if you hold the shift key down and click on the layer mask, it will temporarily disable it so you can view your original background again and then hold shift and click to go back to the cutout. Now I said a little bit earlier, I'm gonna show you a technique to just quickly fix any edges that it might not have got perfect. And to show you this, I'm just gonna put a solid color layer behind this. So we'll put a white solid color layer and go here. So we'll inspect it now with the white layer. It all looks incredible to me. The only thing, if I'm being super nitpicky, the only thing that's catching my eye is on the very edge of this cupcake here where there was a bit of shadow wrapped around on the image. You've got this darker line. Now this isn't, a, this isn't because of a bad cutout. Um, the cutout is absolutely fine, but it's just the nature of like the color contamination or a bit of shadow contamination. Super easy way to fix this is if you go into your layer mask, so make sure you're on the layer mask of your actual cutout layer. Go down to the blur tool here, actually change it to the smudge tool. So you want to end up with the smudge tool. Make sure the hardness is all the way down so it's as soft as it can go. Put the strength to 10 or 20%, so the strength quite low. And all you need to do now is just click and drag in, pushing in just very gently. And all you're doing here is you're basically just smudging in the layer mask to sort of bite in to the pixels of the image a little bit more and actually just eat away a bit at that darker edge. And uh, just like that, we've got it sorted so if I now hold alt and click on the layer mask you can still we've still got a nice edge it's not messed the edge up but it's just just in that tiny little area just we've nudged in the layer mask and tweaked the shape of the cutout and you can do that wherever you need you can also push it outwards if you need to reveal a little bit more of a cutout in an area um, and that is just a really good tip to make sure um, you can just quickly jump in and just manually tweak any little bits of the mask that you need to in no time at all.